Hello everyone, welcome po sa ating TL7 Quarter 1, Week 1. So today's competency, the learners analyze the various sectors of ICT and evaluate the potential career and business prospects relevant to the future career choices. Number two, discuss the emerging trends and issues in ICT. So ngayong araw ay magsasagawa po tayo ng pagsusuri sa iba't ibang sektor ng ICT at i-evaluate po natin ang mga potensyal na oportunidad sa karera at negosyo na may kaugnayan sa ating propisyon sa hinharap. At tatalakayin din natin ngayon ang mga umuusbong na trends at issues sa ICT. Now for our short review, let's divide into small groups of five students each. Your task is to discuss and share your findings on ICT sectors and career opportunities. You'll have 10 minutes to discuss, and then each group will share their findings with the class. I want you to use search engines to learn ng Google, Bing, at Yahoo to research and find information about these sectors. For each career you discover, I'd like you to find an image and write a brief summary. After that, we'll have a class discussion with a few questions to guide us. Number one, what sectors of ICT and career opportunities did you find? Number two, are you already familiar of these sectors? Number three, what common aspects do these sectors share? Number four, among these career opportunities, which one are you interested in pursuing? Now, take a look at these words on the screen. Here's a question for you. Why do you think it's important to understand the different parts of ICT and the job opportunities they create? Think about it. Each word represents the different job or area where you could work. For example, if you love problem solving, cybersecurity might be for you. If you're into creativity, digital marketing could be your path. Knowing about these different sectors helps you find what you enjoy and where the job opportunities are in the future. What do you think about the different areas of ICT and what jobs are you interested in? ICT plays a significant role nowadays. ICT or Information and Communications Technology stresses the role of unified communications and the integration of telecommunications and computers, as well as necessary enterprise software, middleware, storage, and audiovisual that enable users to access, store, transmit, understand, and manipulate information. The creation, production, commercialization, and widespread use of new technology are the major operations carried out by the manufacturing and service sectors that comprise the ICT sector. ICT skills are becoming more in demand, and organizations might benefit from combining these with communication abilities in public relations, advertising, and media communications. Here are the different preferences when it comes to choosing career paths. It covers career opportunities in ICT sectors such as programming, visual arts, computer system servicing, and telecommunications. Programming skills are essential for many technology disciplines, but are in especially high demand for software and web development roles. What are programmers? They are professionals who write and test code to enable applications and software programs to run successfully on a computer in order to create instructions for the machine to follow. What do computer programmers do? Number one, they write and test code for new programs. Computer programmers work closely with web and software developers to write code for new mobile applications or computer programs. Number two, update existing programs. Programmers also create and install updates for existing software programs. An update might include a bug fix or enhanced functionality to improve the user experience. Number three, they identify and correct coding errors. On a daily basis, computer programmers might assist in troubleshooting parts of a website or computer program that are not functioning correctly. Number four, rewrite programs for different operating systems. Often, programmers have to rewrite code in different languages so that programs and applications can be compatible with different operating systems. Number five, they secure programs against cybersecurity threats. Many computer programmers work in the cybersecurity field helping to identify malicious software and fix software that could be vulnerable to potential hacks. Next sectors of ICT are web and game developers. Making interactive, eye-catching experiences is what game development is all about, so maybe that fits you better. However, web development can be a fantastic option if you're passionate about creating websites and web applications as well as working with various technologies. Next are visual arts animator or illustrators. Plan, create, 
develop, and prepare images and diagrams using traditional and digital media, such as drawing, painting, drafting, collage, models, photography, and image capture and manipulation to convey ideas, make meaning clear, support presentations, and illustrate stories. Next are graphic designers. Using computer software or by hand, graphic designers develop visual concepts that convey concepts to audiences in a way that enthralls, inspires, and informs them. They create the overall production design and layout for things like reports, brochures, magazines, and ads. Next is computer system servicing. The process of maintaining and supporting computer systems is referred to as computer system servicing. It includes setting up, adjusting, debugging, and maintaining networks and computer systems. Computer or network technician. Examine, test, diagnose, and assess current network systems, including servers, cloud networks, wide area networks or WAN, local area networks or LAN, and other data communications networks. To guarantee that networks run properly and with the least amount of disruption, perform network maintenance. Next are call center agents or outbound and inbound agents or contact center services. Calls from clients arrive at an inbound call center. As incoming calls are usually from current clients who have problems or inquiries, support teams usually keep an eye on inbound centers. On the other hand, an outbound call center calls customers on their behalf. Next is telecommunication. Transfer data globally in the forms of text, voice, audio, or video are referred to as telecoms companies. Those are the different sectors of ICT and the career opportunities they offer. In computer programming, you can be web developers or game developers. In visual arts, you can be animators or graphic designers. In computer system servicing, you can be computer or network technicians. In telecommunication, you can be call center agents or contact center services representatives. Think about the ICT sector that interests you the most. Why do you like this sector? What career opportunities do you want to pursue? Every year, current trends emerge in the ICT business. In the modern world, one needs to be conversant with all the different trends they encompass. Knowledge of the current patterns will be beneficial for whatever one's vocation. You or anybody else recognizes the possibilities of enhancements as well as the advancement of this kind of business. The technology sector is presently going through unparalleled expansion. Increasingly more companies are trying to grow within this sector due to its excellent potential. ICT has become recognized as an important and appreciated element within the present organizational structure. Where the available ICT trends? Should we be attempting to locate it on the internet, there's a huge volume of knowledge on the patterns, but for our lesson, we'll just accentuate the following patterns. Number one, super apps, the ICT super trend. Asia, particularly China, is the origin of this idea. These are applications that combine a lot of services so users can have access to a single application that does everything. The services include a dedicated messaging area and a bank transfer area. As they boost their competitiveness and foster customer loyalty, they are becoming more and more well-known among businesses. Number two, explosion of the metaverse in the business world. With the creation of virtual spaces that can blur physical barriers, the virtual world hopes to realize its great potential and excel in important fields like the potential to change the way people live, work, and shop. Number three, Digital twins. Not only can this technology create sets of digital duplicates of spaces, elements, and systems to manage errors, save costs, and produce more accurate products. Number four, medtech, the revolution in medicine. The convergence of IoT and medtech represents a significant chance to leverage digital technologies like virtual care, RPA, AI, and others to overcome obstacles and settle disputes in the modern healthcare industry. Number five, Artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. The primary goal of this technology is to increase data security on smart networks. Therefore, businesses should prioritize optimizing smart device security capabilities. Number six, blockchain. One of the most secure ICT trends guarantees that the integrity of data is maintained while doing away with single control over information and party middlemen. To enable the automation of transactions and communications, the data are thus stored in a highly secure and encrypted manner, thereby providing an unquestionable boost to digital identity. And for the issues in information and communications technology, or ICT. Number one, cybersecurity threats. With increasing reliance on digital systems and the internet, cybersecurity threats such as hacking, 
malware, phishing, and cyber attacks have become a significant concern for individuals, businesses, and governments. Protecting sensitive data and critical infrastructure from cyber threats is a top priority. Number two, data privacy and regulation. The collection, storage, and use of personal data by companies and organizations have raised concerns about data privacy. Number three, artificial intelligence or AI and automation. The rapid development of AI and automation technologies has raised concerns about job displacement, algorithmic bias, and ethical implications. Number four, slow internet connections. Causes like network congestion, distance from server, outdated hardware or software. Number five, viruses. Different types like trojans, worms, ransomware that can corrupt data, steal info. How they spread through downloads, emails, networks. For other potential issues in ICT. Number one, e-waste and environmental impact of hardware or devices. Number two, IT personnel shortages and skills gaps. Number three, digital divide and access inequalities. Number four, ethical issues around AI autonomous systems. Number five, regulation and governance of emerging technologies.